All right. What's up, everybody? Should be episode 18 of the Breath of Fire 3 pseudo-randomizer. I see Ryu was just relaxing. <laughs> As if we're not about to run into a whole lot of problems in this episode. If uh, recent history has proven anything, that's definitely not going to happen, right? Kitty cat on the lap. Ready to go? All right. So I'm pretty sure down this way first. These require key cards. Level B, yeah. I think this just gets us something, though. I don't think this gets us where we're supposed to go. I think this is just somewhere else we can go. Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still in defense formation, that's good. <sighs> Alright, tank bot nightmare. Let's go for the nightmare. Obviously, because screw that guy. Of course. Welcome back, Tony. Now go to sleep. Oh, just. Stop looking at me, Forty. I'm fighting bad guys, right? Gargon. Alright. Yeah, this is where all the honeys are. <laughs> they pay no attention in that sense. I know where all the honeys is. Yeah, these are, uh, Grism Machine Soldiers. Just like honey. And there's a bunch of them in this room. And there's a chest. That's the Demon's Bane. It's a weapon for Ryu. But, uh, obviously not as good as the Royal Sword, because, duh. Yeah, it's a Devil Slayer, which is pretty cool. Um, pretty sure they give you that sword in preparation for Ryu's, uh, solo section, which is coming up very soon. Yeah, this is A. I don't have A. <laughs> no good. Alright. So we'll do this fight, we'll rest again, then we'll go have Momo blow up the, uh, plants. Yeah, we definitely want to rest now. I'm not wasting all my healing herbs. Good lord. <laughs> it nailed us. Dang, dude. Capcom knew exactly what they were doing when they designed this dungeon. <laughs> Put these enemies in here. We're getting ready to go to a new area, though, where we won't have to fight nightmares and tank bots and... Uh... Frickin' Drakes. Alright, so I literally just went to get the Demon's Bane. That's it. Episode over. See you guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm already stressed out enough. Nah, this is this is gonna be a decently long episode, because we got a couple of places we gotta we gotta take care of here. And at least one boss fight that I know is gonna give me trouble. Oh, for crap's sake, can we run? No, we're just gonna get hurt. Are you serious? Alright, can we can we try and run again? Can we get out of here? Okay. Now now I'll actually use healing items, because I'm not going all the way back in there just for Momo to take a nap. Suck it up there, Pepper Ann. We got places to be. <laughs> God, I hate this friggin' dungeon, dude. Up we go. This should be a heal room, right? Yeah, I didn't have to use all those freaking... I did not expect us to get here without any fights. Our, oh man, I was face perfect too. Stupid encounter. Oh, it's gonna depress us. I don't want to be depressed. Oh, fire blast. That's fine. That's fine. 
just don't depress my AP away. Come on, Gar. Dang it. We gotta actually use freaking magic on this thing, don't we? So he's getting my AP one way or another. What? Is he just super evasive? What hurts this thing? Frost? Ice hurts it because it's using freaking fire stuff on us. Yeah, okay, it's a frost bear. Got it. Ragnarok isn't gonna work. Fire blast is probably not gonna work. Now we can probably hit it. Flame barrier destroyed, frost barrier destroyed. What are you giving me a freaking mini boss for right now? Oh my gosh. Okay, so we have to defeat, de destroy every single elemental barrier. Because if she gets to throw lightning and destroys a lightning barrier, that makes me think that the royal sword should hit him, right? All I know is this fight's annoying too, as with most of the other ones. No? Okay, cool. Alright, Ice Blast. Gar's never gonna hit him. We'll just have to defend him. I'm about to get rid of your Wind Barrier, too. Yeah, that's what it is. Destroy the frost barrier, so we would frost him, and then we would ice blast him, and we'd probably just win. Okay, then. Alright, Momo. I get it. Let's just walk in here real quick. Alright, get your revenge for being punched by that plant by shooting it. Oh, you don't have the freaking shells equipped. Burp. There we go. Alright, off we go. Alright. This part of the dungeon is super neat. We're only going to see a lot of goos. Or hoppers that are going to try and hypnotize us. Or watch us, that's fine. Hey, you're watching, check this out. <laughs> watch closely at how we obliterate you real quick. Yeah, Momo needs some levels to catch up to Ryu and Gar here. Protein. It's dead end over there. Yeah, this brings us onto the grass. And 42. I don't know what this thing's weak to. We're just gonna fight it. Never mind. It took off. It's like, nah, dude. No. You guys look frightening. This, this part of the dungeon is super cool and super weird looking. Magic shard, that's cool. You know, I've never brought Pico here to try punching these trees. I wonder what we'd find. Besides caterpillars, probably. That would sting us. Alright, you gonna run this time, or are you happy because you got a friend? Yeah, you got a friend. Get from Rise Bond. These shells didn't do a whole lot of damage there. for being able to destroy plant life. 
Oh, we're gonna be blind now. That means Momo will be able to aim better. Never mind. <laughs> I still believe the myth, alright? Still believe it. Why did I even try? Is there anything this way, or is this... Nothing. I think this way is nothing, right? I think we want to keep going upward. Oh god, it's the Goo King! Alright, so this is the thing, by the way, that can give you the best sword in the game. It's the Goo King sword. Uh, it's not actually that strong, what I remember. I think it might have Ragnarok or something crazy like that, but uh, yeah. Um, pretty sure let's charm it. Yeah, I don't think you steal it from him. I think that it drops it if you're very, 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 very lucky. We threw a charm down. We'll see if that helps. Let's see if we can steal anything. Green apple. Oh, it gets mad. That's right. When you take its green apple, it gets really mad at you. Doesn't it? Am I? Yes. Who wants my the item back? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is gonna hurt. Yeah, he gets really mad when you take the green apple. That's what it is. That's something I've never tried though. If he survives, he did. Something I've never tried is using a green apple on him after stealing it. That would be super interesting. He wants the item back, so let's give it back to him. I realize I'm playing with fire here, but I want to see what happens. Oh, Shiraka, that'll heal three. Probably hurt Momo a lot. Yeah. Oh, just missed for you. That sucks. Yeah, he's pretty mad at us right now. P dang mad. Right, we're just gonna try and kill him then. There's Ragnarok. We could be dead here. Guard is definitely dead. Reeves, okay. Does it kill? No, it does not. Okay. Run. Okay. Alright, so. <laughs> Don't mess with no Goo Kings. They have green apples, right? That's another uh, thing. Yeah, I, I knew he had Ragnarok. I didn't know about the other stuff. Alright, so. Anyway. Yeah, we. this is the right way this way. Freaking Goo King. This thing isn't that bad, I remember this. We fought one of these already. They'll try and devour us. Oh, it's got Quake. You know, maybe I should stop assuming everything here isn't scary. <laughs> Momo is almost leveled. I'm pretty sure when we, uh, get to a certain section here that we get a full heal. At least for you does. I know that. But he hasn't died, so he's not below max. Too fast. All right. 
I usually do have Ray with me during this section, so I guess I totally forgot about that being a thing for that reason. So we need to go get Ray. I guess Momo's sitting out for a while. Pretty sure it wants you to have Ray for the story reason coming up. Could be wrong about that. Well, where is my phone? Oh no, I don't have my phone for randomizing the number. I'll just use this. Here, we'll, we'll do this. Uh, generate. Six? Is that Tiamat again? Isn't that six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it's Pygmy. Okay. Since we're going back to get Ray anyway, and we're going to uh, rest. May as well just burn all of our AP. Pygmy does have more HP than Wildfire, but then again, so does everything. Except maybe Pico right now. I don't know. I don't know how much HP Pico has. I'll have to check that. Magma Breath. Get him. He's so cute. Yeah, some of these character requirements for certain spots are just, like, couldn't you just have, like, the game warp the character into your team? Like, I think that's one thing that, uh, I think that's one thing that Breath of Fire 4 did pretty well, is your entire team is always traveling with you, so whenever you need a character for something, you just switch into them. Breath of Fire 4... There's a lot of things that I don't like about Breath of Fire 4. There's a lot of things I do like. Um, I, the skills are very lackluster compared to Breath of Fire 3. As far as like the animations and the cool factor of learning skills, uh, I thought it was interesting the way that you learn skills from Masters, though. Like That was actually pretty fun. Um, like The ones where you had to do certain giant hit, hit combos to learn skills and stuff. That was pretty neat. Or, like, do certain things. Uh, but, like, the skills you got never felt worth it. The only ones that I really liked, like, aesthetically, and just cool factor in general, were the ones you got from, uh, what the hell's his name? The big muscly guy that fights you a bunch. The, you get Shout from him, and you get the, uh, Tiger Fist from those are cool but who who are you gonna give those to obviously you give them to Cray right Cray is awesome he is easily one of the coolest characters in that game my favorite character is Sias because I mean it's Sias he's super cool man he's a freaking samurai puppy dog man let's go but uh yeah that game the skills though were not that cool the, re the regular skills that characters got on their own were most of the time cooler. But, you know, to each their own. I thought about, like, as I went through this further, I thought about maybe I should do a Breath of Fire 4 randomizer. But, number one, I don't know that game as well as I know this game. Uh, I've played it a bunch of times, but not enough to have stuff memorized like I do in this one. Um, yeah, Pico has 40 HP at level one. He's got more than Wildfire. <laughs> um, <laughs> But that and, uh, you know, just, there are some really dumb parts in that game. Like, there are just some really dumb parts. Let's just leave it at that, that I'm not a huge fan of. I think we've uh, discussed at least one of them, uh, which was the, uh, the planes. Uh, I, I'm not going to stumble through those planes again right now. <laughs> um... But yeah, uh, I am thinking of other ideas for pseudo-randomizers that would be cool, but um, I haven't landed on any that, that particularly stick out to me like Breath of Fire 3 did. Either way, we have Ray now, so we have who we need. Which, this is typically my team for the end of the game anyway. It, um, sometimes Gar is replaced with Nina, but 
for the most part, this is my end game team that I usually have. And I knew you would do that. This is definitely the team I usually take into area. Yes, I was hoping for that. <laughs> Let's be clear, I'm always hoping for Garda Grid. Also, a big deal about Breath of Fire 4 is that I can't get into the fishing game in that game. <laughs> There's something about it that I never really liked. It's so different from this one. It seems trivial, and a lot of people think it's like the best fishing game they've ever had. And I wholeheartedly, with all due respect, disagree. <laughs> um, Alright, let's, let's do this again. We're, we're going to fight the dang new game. Alright, Gar, you need to steal that green apple. Dang, dude. You didn't talk to him. Alright, I'm going to turn into a dragon the moment we steal the green apple. Steal the green apple. Okay. Hit, hit, steal. Oh. He's like, you're not getting my apple, dude. And I knew I was going the wrong way, too. <sighs> That's an interesting team. Ray, why don't you throw out a Shirago? Let's see how much damage you're doing, man. I'm interested to see your magic power. Ray's casting animation is so cool. Nah. I wouldn't say that's respectable damage, but it's okay. It's better than Garka, I know. I know that. Especially considering that Ray has not had a master all game. He has total base stats, man. Because we never could get Hondara unlocked. Pretty sure that's who he was supposed to have, yeah. seen them do anything crazy dangerous. That's the most dangerous thing that can come out of this encounter. It's somebody scary getting hypnotized and just wrecking us. Ray's not scary. <laughs> Get down here, cat. Go play, buddy. My leg's falling asleep with you on my lap, boy. Let's just chug some water. Bang. If only that did something. There's no reason for us to have it anymore. <laughs> Wouldn't that have sucked if, like, the game put you in a desert spot at the end here, and you had to make sure you had water from when you talked to Horus last? <laughs> oh, man. The way this game is, that would have been a fantastic troll.
There's a similarly uh, trolly thing that happens in uh, another one of my favorite games, which is uh, Sakodin, the first Sakodin. Um, in order to recruit all 108 characters, towards the end of the game, you have to. Uh, there's five uh, blacksmiths that you can recruit. Um, or I'm sorry, six blacksmiths you can recruit. And in order to uh, recruit the sixth, um, you have to bring the other five with you to convince them. Now, you can only have a team of six characters at one time, and your main character always takes up one slot. So, the thing that sucks about this is it's towards the end of the game when you finally can go and recruit the last blacksmith which allows you to, like, build your weapons up to level 16, which is the highest level. And, uh, if you pass a certain teeny tiny point, Flick and Victor, two of the game's characters, like, main characters, end up being required on your team. And you can't remove them. So, and this is all the way at the end of the game. So if you've done everything perfect, gotten all the characters up to that point, nice guts roll. Uh, gotten all the characters up to that point, you're just missing the the last blacksmith and maybe one or two other characters, whatever. Um, you cannot get him. Because for the rest of the game, you're stuck with Flick and Victor. So if you want all the characters, you gotta go all the way back to the beginning. Or hope that you had a save point before that little spot that trolls you. I don't know of anyone who's ever played Sakodin 1 without that happening to them. The first time they played. So, yeah. That sucked. Alright, we're gonna cancel the attack here. Because I'm gonna try and bring Ray back before we kill this thing so that he's not at less than max HP. There we go, now we'll be good. Yeah, I gotta not underestimate these hoppers, dude. They're mean. Nothing. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Too many steps. Vodka. Oh, Ryu! Get it away from me. Oh no, okay, we're gonna we're gonna uh we're gonna go ahead and take that vodka shot. Oh, okay, it's all the way at the bottom already. That's where it needs to stay. Out of sight, out of mind, Ryu, just don't think about it, okay? We don't need you relapsing. You're so close to the end. Wisdom fruit. There you go. Fruit's better for you than alcohol, okay? <clears throat> okay, we can kill one of these things. This, with other enemies, is a pain, but by itself, it's not too bad. Three, three, one, four. One? Base agility increase? Jeez, Ray, I thought agility was your thing, my dude. Silver tiara, that is a lady equipment. I'm fairly certain. Okay, is this the right way or the wrong way? I think the other way leads me to something, right? Something good? Oh, we're getting out of here. I'm not breaking your stupid barriers. All right, yeah, let's let's roll up here and see what's up here. I think this is just a chest or something, right? Yeah. Dragon spear. That is giving us. It's giving us that specifically for a fight coming up. Just like the demon's bane. 
it's kind of setting us up to be sort of prepared. Which is good, because that means we have a bunch of options in case we get roadblocked. Which I kind of expect, just because of our low levels. Like, we should be kind of approaching level 40 by now. But we're still in the mid-30s. Some of us aren't even up to level 30. flagship monster in Breath of Fire. It just didn't work out. Didn't work out like slimes. So now we're on our way to Eden. And this is a really neat part. Look how pretty and tranquil. <laughs> I don't recall if there's enemies in here. There are enemies in here. Okay. Oh, goo titans. These guys give us life shards if we steal from them, I'm pretty sure. I'll at least try and steal one. These guys are a threat earlier in the game, but not really now. They're actually a really good place to grind, or a really good thing to grind on, uh, on Mount Levit, if you can, like, continuously fight to find them and fight them. Um, but we kind of rolled through the game. We didn't stop to do any grinding or anything, sadly. I can't remember if it's magic shards or life shards they give you. It's one of the two. Car. It's like his agility isn't good enough to steal, even though he's mastered under Alonzo. And they give you pretty good EXP. It's they're a good enemy like early on to sink your ivory dice into, for sure. If you have any. I don't recall if there's ancients over here or around here. I don't think so. Just the one that I got already. But this room is a nice throwback to uh, the tower from the first Breath of Fire. How each floor was really wide open and had these walls in them and stuff. And had different stairs to go up and stuff. It was like there was a, a wintry one, a foresty one. There's all kinds of cool stuff like that. Oh, we got a soldier. So now, this next part, get ready for some freaking awesome story points, man. Hey, buddy. silent. I'm 
must talk way too much. You don't talk to Ray like that, Tifo. I don't care who you are. Unfortunately, your journey ends here. I can answer all of your questions. And explain why our race had to be destroyed. Yes, Tipo is also rude. So in every single Breath of Fire game, there always seems to be a member of the Dark Dragon Clan. In the first game, it was Zog. In the second game, it was Rey. In this game, it's Tipo. This is after Balio and Sunder attacked us. So crazy to think about how far away, how long ago this was in our playthrough. That's when we got stabbed. Memory. Misty watercolor memory. <laughs> That's when Gar wrecked all those guys. <clears throat> oh, that's when Wildfire destroyed Gar. Don't mess with Wildfire. Oh yeah, Mikba too. That fight was actually easier than I thought it was going to be. Usually that's a tough fight. This is a nice recap of everything that happened, you know? It's kind of like giving you a, a... Like a summary of the whole game. Oh, Geist. Oh, Geist. Violence, pain, and blood is right, especially in that fight. God. You forgot frustration, profanity, <laughs> vitamins. Yeah, so basically Miria has convinced Tipo that the power of the brood is too strong to be let free. Pose too great a danger to the world. Our power, our very existence threatens it. We cause war and chaos wherever we go. So, Mr. Tifa. I love the, the freaking emphasis that Ray does on that. The goddess put it into your head to wait here. Wait here to kill Tutan, eh? No. She would never harm anyone, nor allow anyone to be harmed. You are brainwashed, my friend. Oh, the shrug. Dude, Ray is perfect. She simply fears, fears for the world should the power of the brood be left uncontrolled. Two ten. We're different. We can't be with them. Remember the beginning of the game during Ryu's dream? The very beginning? This is Tebow from there. That's why you need to stay here with me. With me and the goddess man. Still don't understand. Do you? But that's all right. Take your time. Look deep within yourself. And here we go. Into reuse mind. think, Tutan? This is your mind, your heart-given shape. Why do you think you're so cool, Tipo? Here, you can enter not only your own heart, but those of your so-called friends as well. And then you'll learn that I, that Holy Myria, is right. You're a shill. Go now, Tutan. Aight then. I'm a going. Yeah, this is basically when you get to, like, hear the thoughts and feelings of your comrades. 
Whenever I decided to do something, my mother would always ask me. Is that what the Princess of Windia should do? <laughs> I would always answer yes. I left the castle to attend on my other friends. For the first time, I wasn't my mother's daughter. Or the Princess of Windia. I was able to just be Nina. You're just being selfish, you know. I thought it was very important that we learn about Tutone. I don't know anymore. Maybe I left the castle just because I was tired of being controlled by my mother. That's totally understandable, dude. You do you. Power of the Brood. Yeah, Ray, Ray is laid back. He's like, yeah, whatever. Look at me. I have the power I was so frightened of I swore never to use it. Compared to the power of the Brood, my power is insignificant. Doesn't that just beat all? It does. How can anyone handle that kind of power? If it were me, I know what I would do with it. No, I know better. I wouldn't be able to handle that kind of power responsibly. I'm just no good. That's not true, Ray. And we gotta fight. Vile weed. Pretty sure this thing can hurt me pretty bad. I'm gonna shadow walk it. I'm pretty sure that this, uh, this dragon statue actually heals me full. Either that or it's one of the ones that, uh, tells me to go somewhere. Yeah, this is the one that heals me. Yes, I do, thank you. Yeah, this kind of gives you a, a little area where you can train if you're not high enough level for getting through here. Yes, I'm going to be a madman and save over this one that way. I mean, we're stuck with the level characters we got, man. Okay, so this is... Not gonna let me get this right. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot. <clears throat> I should have talked to the dragon statue. It probably would have told me, "Hey, you're gonna fall if you go over there." Now, level. Yeah, there's a, there's a boss that you have to fight in here with just Ryu, and uh, it is, I think I mentioned this before, it can be uh, immediately killed with, uh, oh, did I just get poisoned? That's horse crap. Um, it can be immediately killed with a move like Kyrie, because it uh, obliterates the undead, but yeah, yeah, we don't have that, sadly. Well, hi, everybody. Welcome to my brain. What are you doing here? <laughs> why is there so? Why are there so many vile weeds in my mind? This is a something to unpack here. Haha! -ha, you don't have enough AP to cast death. Bitches. Get out of my brain. Ain't space enough for you in here. Yeah, Ryu's brain is filled with weeds, gongs, dragon statues, and rice balls. Oh, I didn't mean to go into the save menu again. I guess I will. Who cares? So, so many rice balls in his head. Well, there's a problem right there. This is, we just have to wait here. And press nothing. Yep, there we 
Orion. Go, my child. Let your steps take you where they will. Get those chests. I don't think you can get those chests. They are traps. Back on. That's a cool color scheme for that enemy, though. Looks really neat. Ow! Darn! Yeah, Ryu being at level 36 is actually pretty okay for here. Good thing we have a butt ton of vitamins. My father used to tell me lots of stories about the Techno Age. It was his life stream to learn all he could about that time and all the machines that were built then. Honey. Father. I'm almost there. It's right in front of me. That's all she thinks about is her own crap, dude. Brute God. I don't know anything about them. The fate of the world is too big for me. All I know is, by getting closer to God, I'm getting closer to that age. The age of machines. Yep. You are one track mind, homo. And that's totally okay. At least we know you're absolutely honest about everything. Yeah, this place is confusing. And there's new enemies here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Thanatos. Um, okay, so here's the thing. For these fights, because this guy's a bottle, I think we want the Demon Bane over the world sword. Uh, didn't do that much damage, actually. <laughs> How much is that gonna do? Nothing. Yeah, what did we do? 89 with the uh, Demon Bane? Yeah, Royal Sword wins. <laughs> ah, my natural sense of direction said to go this way, and I went the other way. I do believe there's some treasure chests that you can get here, but I don't know where they are. And I don't know if they're worth it, either. Is that my AP you're taking? <sighs> you're just a freaking thief, is what you are. That was a over a wisdom fruits amount of AP that he just freaking jacked off me. This is the way I came in, isn't it? No, it's not. Wait, is it? Am I crazy? Am I crazy? Stop taking my AP, dude. I need that. <gasps> I need that. Get him. More rice balls. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is where I came in, right? Or is this taking me further on?
This is the one I stepped on that took me the wrong way, I think. Are you gonna leech power me? Okay, yeah. Ow. Man, I'm gonna be going into this next fight with no AP. That's okay. We're saved right below here, so it's no big deal. We have to we have to go back through, we have to go back through. It's it's whatevs. I'm off tomorrow. This is the way I went before. No, I went the other way before. Hey Gar, what's up, dude? I believe that by hunting the brood, by obeying God, I was saving the world from eggs. But now I wonder, was I? If they had wanted to, the brood could have stopped us at any time. What should I have done? It's a good question, buddy. I don't know the answer either. Probably shouldn't have killed a bunch of dragons, though. I mean... <laughs> Dang this freaking fight. Okay, um. Um. Run. Damn. Oh, he's at the perfect amount of HP to die to a gong. Well, if I stay and try and heal, I'm dead anyway. Okay. Because I do not outspeed the gong, it would have killed me with a charge. Things are working out, somehow. I think this is the correct way. This? Yeah. Hey, Pico. I've been watching you for a long time, Two-Tone. You need to do what you and only you think is right. The power of the brood is something to be respected and feared. It's not enough to save or destroy the world. You're right. Okay, we're coming up on it, I think. Yeah, yeah. We come to a decision. You're one of the brood. You can't afford to think only of yourself. Like the others, right? Think of what you could do with your power. Think of your people, those who gave you this power. If you have the power to change the world, you have to take responsibility for the world, don't you? It's an interesting thought. There's only one person who can take that kind of responsibility. The goddess Miriam. You're wrong! Rise. Rise and give yourself to the goddess. Become one with the world. It's time to go. Alright, this fight sucks. You count Yggdrasil among your companions. Yggdrasil? Who could that be? It's a surprise. Still. This music is sick. You understand, don't you, Tutan? We share the same blood. I know you. You must understand. All the others. They're weak and frail. They think only of themselves. What if our power were to be used by them? For their small, selfish ends. We can only entrust our power to someone who understands. Someone who sees and thinks of the world as a whole. Someone like Miria told him. No, dog. You wrong. If that's your choice, then. If you won't listen to me. I'm afraid I can't let you leave. Sorry, Two-Town, but I have no choice but to leave you here in this dream. Alright, this fight sucks a whole bunch of butt. Especially if we don't get a dragon. That's good. What do you got for me, Randomizer? Nine. Okay, well, I think that's True Kaiser. 
Yeah. I wish we would have rolled that for the fight after this. But this move looks so cool. It's just like Corona, but it sounds and looks cooler. That was definitely on my Dark Dragon run through. And he lowered my speed, which sucks. Okay, so... Using a Wisdom Fruit on himself in this form is pointless. I think we just want to freaking Shadow Walk and do as much damage as we can. Just like when we fought the freaking uh, Chimera. Hopefully he avoids that, otherwise we're just going to lose our AP. better damage. 929. I'd imagine that his, uh, okay, you're doing it again. I would imagine that his, um, HP isn't that high since we have to fight him by ourselves, but we also have, we also have access to dragons, so I mean, that might not be the case. You know? If I remember correctly, he does a butt-ton of damage to me when I'm in just this form. Let's do a Shadow Walk. Okay, no, that's not too bad. Okay, so we have two True Kaiser Shadow Walks and one Ryu Shadow Walk. We're gonna have to friggin' fight him in this situation, right? Miss, nice. Can he Lucky Strike? Is that something I'm remembering? I don't know. Let's see what the uh, Royal Sword does. Surprise me. 117. 117. This is a dumb idea, but let's try the demon bane. Maybe the ghost wasn't a demon. Doubtful, but. Blizzard, that's gonna hurt. Okay, that's that's fine. 117 and 212. Okay, so that is better to use the demon's bane in this situation. Totally cool. Heal, please. We can probably win this fight without using any more skills. I don't know if you get a full heal between this and the next fight. I'm pretty sure you do. Right? 5,000 EXP. Learn Bone Break naturally, but we won't be using it. This might be quote unquote a boss, boss rush if I remember correctly. I think it is. Yeah, it totally is. Crap. I don't think you get a full heal. That boss I was kind of worried about. Not as much as this one. This fight has some cool freaking music. Just putting that out there. But anyway. Struggle bus time. Why did you fight it? All that would have happened is that you would have lost the power of the brood. You wouldn't have had to die. If you won't give up your power. If you won't submit to the wisdom of Myria. And I have no choice. No choice but to kill you. Here we go. This music is so cool. Choose who will fight against Tipo. Yeah, we don't get a full heal. That sucks. Alright, I think this is my best choice here. Momo seems good, but I think Ray is going to be fine. Oh, God, it's such a hard choice. Even with chain formation, this fight's pretty dang rough, man. Okay, let's give it a shot. Defense, please. <laughs> if only they let me go in the menu real quick. Alright. Time to fight. Good old D-Lord. Old Douglas. Douglas Lord. Lord of all Dugs. Alright, um... So, attack. Wait. 
blade. I don't have the dragon blade. That does kind of suck, but uh, it's okay. Royal sword. We'll just do that because he's not a demon. Gar. Number one, I need you to equip that dragon spear we just found because it's probably going to be a heck of a lot better than the beast spear against him. And we're going to need a wisdom fruit put down on Ryu. Yeah, the first round of this is basically uh, centered around bringing Ryu up to full from the last fight. Ow. There we go. Okay, so... I don't know if I want to wear a tiger here. It could be really, really bad for us. And again, it could be really, really good for us, too. Not yet. Let's use him to Vitamin Gar first. Beep yourself, man. And... I'm really scared of what we're gonna end up with here. Come on. Pretty sure that's Trigon. Well, it's a dragon. Hit him, Gar. See how much you're doing with that dragon spear, dude. Yeah, at least we got a dragon. It's not the best one we could have hoped for, but it is one. 6. Alright. I still don't think I want to wear a tiger just yet. 206 with that. Let's switch to the beast spear and see how much we can. <laughs> He's really liking physical attacks right now. He's actually pretty good for us. Ray does no damage. Beast spear does not do as much as dragon. Who he's supposed to attack. <laughs> Hate to take up your turn, multivitamin. 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 Gar. But we kind of need it. Ray's probably not going to survive to be evil. I don't want to waste a guard damage turn by trying. Okay, howling. That sucks. <laughs> Everything has to have howling, doesn't it? Ray and Ray. Well, Ray is technically already used. So that's whatever. But... You know what, Gar? Throw down the moon tears, dude. Because I think that heals us from being dead, too, right? So if Ray happens to die, and Gar is not confused. He's gonna throw the moon tears. Yeah. So ho 
Hopefully that recovers from death, too. I'm pretty sure it does. It does not. Wow. Okay. I'm here suck in this game. <laughs> I think we do want to try and bring it back. Uh, well, we should. Um, I guess we try ammonia. Hope that Doug does a physical attack and doesn't target Ray. Only thing I can think of. Because Gar is definitely not going to be fast enough to heal Ray before. Uh, the Dragon Lord has a chance to do something, and I don't think Ray outspeeds it either. Gar, I think I want you to... Oh, we don't have anything really good. Uh... Oh, okay. Ray is fast enough. Good. Fantastic. We're gonna get him up to max HP. Hopefully. Ooh. Okay, that's fine. That's perfectly fine, dude. You can do that all day. Especially to read. Yeah, Ray, I think we're gonna get you up to full health. And then have you wear Tiger again. Gar. I'm about to do this. <laughs> Ryu, this is not an excuse for you to go back to your old habits. But we need more damage, my dude. <laughs> it's time for a relapse. say, I can have Gar use a Seabream on him, and he'll stay in dragon form, but we just lose damage from Gar that turn, so it kind of balances out. And now we're gonna get... Don't hit Ray. I'd hit Ray. And Ryu. Dang it! Oh my god, no, this is gonna be the worst. Now Gar's down. Oh man, we destabilized hard. This is a problem. Just from that one turn, I think everything's falling apart now. We have to get lucky and have Gar not die. Ray's dead. We have to get real, real lucky. Ryu does not outspeed the dragon. So if he does an AoE attack, Ryu's just going to take damage and Gar's going to die again. He has to physically attack, and he has to attack Ryu. I don't like those odds, man. 
what I do like is the fact that he's gonna outspeed Ryu no matter what. So we'll bring back Ray. We'll try and Vitamin Gar with himself. See if it works for him. If it doesn't, Ray is gonna be back up. And Ray does outspeed him. So Ray will at least be able to. Yeah, okay. Ray will at least be able to stabilize himself and Ryu. And then. Okay. Wait, we got this figured out here. We got this figured out. I think. So now Ray is going to fight him himself to make sure he lives. Ryu is going to throw down an ammonia after the Dragon Lord attacks. Right? Yes. Okay. Oh, Ray didn't outspeed. That was lucky. Um, so hopefully next turn, Ray outspeeds. I think they're speed tied or something. And Ray will be able to heal Gar before the Dragon Lord gets to do anything. I super duper hope, anyway. I'm gonna multivitamin Gar and hope to fuck that it works. <laughs> speed and heal yourself, my dude. You know what? This is a healing spell. Usually healing spells go first. Right? Let's just try that. Alright, Gar. Hit him. No, it did not go first. Howling is what's screwing us here, man. Both of us. Dang it. Okay, knock, knock Ryu out of it. Good. Then he won't attack Ray. And why did you miss, Gar? What does the Rakdami do? HP. I need you to actually hit him, Gar. Right target. I 
mean, at least he's not wiping us all at once. I guess. Okay, so... If Ray survives, which he probably won't... Ryu will come back. <sighs> Crap, dude. Okay, Ray. Let me see real quick. You're not attacking. Equip the soul gem, because you're about to freaking die. I know you. This is gonna miss if Ray dies, because he won't actually use the ammonia, right? Even though it'll let's let's give it a turn. Let's give it a turn here. <laughs> okay, so Ray's gonna die, Soul Gem's gonna pop, Ray's gonna come back with full HP, and he's not gonna throw the ammonia. We're continuously doing damage with Gar. Alright, now you can put the Titan Belt back on. Not that it's going to really help you that much. Now you can queue up an Ammonia. Then we'll go after the Douglas Lord. And Gar can multivitamin. There's the Blizzard. Ray's going to live, so is Gar. It's a lot of damage. Ammonia goes down. Multivitamin goes down. Ryu has a lot of HP at full, so he'll be able to use his turn to heal somebody, which is probably going to have to be Gar, just to keep Gar alive for this. Ray is going to attempt to vitamin himself and probably fail. Ryu's going to vitamin Gar, Gar's going to attack. Rocco, Gar might be dead. Ray might be dead. They're both dead. I do not have the AP for Benediction. I suppose I could use a turn for Wisdom Fruit. For you, that's our last piece of Wisdom Fruit. Triple Blow is going to hurt a little bit. Missed once, that's good. Now Ryu can actually Benediction. He lived. Benediction brings everyone back, right? Not that it matters, I think we're dead. If he does one AoE attack, we are have no heal all items. <sighs> this ain't looking too good. He hit one person. Good. These guards up good. That's gonna hit Ryu, okay. I think we may have to let Ray take an out. I think we double vitamin ourselves. Live, Gar. I think this is these two just have to do it. Ray is not gonna last. He was helpful in some spots there for a minute, but now we just need to do damage, man. And I do have let's push all targets power. And we'll use next turn to heal again. Because Blizzard's gonna hurt. So that raised both of our power. I may not be allowed to turn into a dragon again, but Ryu has some pretty good skills in there. So Gar's gonna do more damage, and Ryu's gonna do more damage. I've got 78 AP to use Shadow Ball with. If we 
decide that's the route we're gonna go. Right now, I'm going to heal Gar, and Gar's gonna attack again. Okay, that's fine. Crit. Dang it. Vitamin yourself. Almost want a vitamin. Gar, too. Well, let's do that. Yeah. Okay, so this should get us both up to pretty decent health. Dang, this is a nail biter. Tebow, why are you gonna have so much HP, you douche? That's what the D stands for, douche. Alright, Shadow Walk, attack. Triple blow. Now. Yes, nice, nice. Do good damage. 485, that's pretty good. I think we can stand to do another Shadow Walk. We're getting low on vitamins, man. You outsped him. Use a vitamin on the wrong person, but that's okay. We're kind of hedging our bets there. Now we'll have Ryu vitamin himself. Hopefully he accidentally outspeeds again. That'd be great. Nope, there's a blizzard. Okay. Vitamin going down. The next turn, Ryu can shadow walk again, and Gar will vitamin himself. <laughs> Got a pretty decent loop going on here. Gar, don't die, dude. We got a vitamin queued up for you. Okay. Dang it. I keep hoping that that next shadow walk is always going to be the last hit. Alright, I think we should use this turn to double vitamin. Kind of a scary HP here. Okay, Blizzard's not bad, but we will be up with a pretty good HP. Yeah, leaving Ray dead is a good idea. It's kind of hard to uh, stabilize him. He dies so easily. Benediction was clutch, though, for sure. But if I was going to use the Wisdom Fruit, I should have just used it to keep Trigon in Trigon form. But that's okay. We, we found another way here. Maybe. Yes. Hit. Hit. Okay. Ryu's got to bind him in himself next time. That's one less shadow walk we got. Gar, where are your crits, my dude? Oh, God. So Gar will be dead next turn if he can't get a vitamin off. This is scary. Once, once Ryu is the only target, it's going to be bad. Okay, good, 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 good. If he had done that to Gar, we were in big trouble. It's kind of bad that he did it to Ryu, too. We're not doing enough damage, man. Please. Okay, good. That's not going to hurt Ryu.
I'm afraid I'd have to do that fight all over. Woo! Let's go. And we got the rare, both rare drops. That's awesome. That's freaking awesome. It's right. No, dude. Look at this. Brood. All we know how to do is fight and kill each other like this. But... Didn't ask to be... Oh, Reed and Ray. And then, I didn't ask for be the power. You hear that, Fury Cat? I didn't ask for be the power. Fair enough, dude. I just wanted to be with you. You, Ray, and you two, too, my family. Oh, don't make us feel bad for killing you. Doesn't this just beat all? It sure does. Hey, Tuta. Maybe you brood really are cursed. I hope not. I really do, Tuta. Yeah, me too, man. Yay! <laughs> Happy music. Alright. Dang, we're short on vitamins. Beef jerky. Bam, bam. Alright. Let's get the hell out of here, dude. <laughs> the worst thing that could ever happen is getting killed on our way back to <laughs> the freaking safe spot. <laughs> Let's be super duper careful. Wraith, run. Okay, I'm going to use Ray's remaining AP to rejuvenate everybody, so we are actually at full AP. Or HP, I'm sorry. Whew. Terrifying. Terrifying fights. <laughs> Stay away from me, Wraith. This is so mean of them to make you have to walk all the way back. I hate you. his turn already happened. I didn't get hypnotizing. Okay. <laughs> oh, he still got the dragon spear. <laughs> Beast spear back on. It is pretty sad that it gives you the dragon blade, specifically made for fighting dragons, after you've fought all the dragons <laughs> that you're going to fight. Yeah, it's kind of sucks. Now, if you're able to steal a dragon blade from the Douglas Lord, I don't want to mess with you. Uh, you can equip it right then and there and use it to fight him, but I think you can steal it. When are you going to have time between freaking healing yourself to 
try and steal it. I went the wrong way a bunch of times there. Crap. <clears throat> I'm gonna fight these things just for the sake of not failing running away. We're gonna kill them out as fast as we can. It is the most dangerous. Because of that damage and because of. Nice. Because of hit points. It's actually a double good thing that we equip the uh, the Dragon Spear on Gar when we were fighting Tebow because um, he wasn't taking incremental damage from having the Beast Spear equipped, which probably would have put us in a pretty bad spot. I can't believe we made it through that fight. I was so sad to have to reset and try again. Now I'm just trying to get back to the save point without dying to make sure that we can save that we beat it. And these plants won't leave me the hell alone. Now they will. Okay. Make me eat my words, everybody. Um, yeah, so we're just trying to get back and save. Please, please. Here's a healing room. That's lucky. Alright, I can breathe a little sigh of relief, but not completely yet. Oh, bye, Gar. I forgot you're too big for escalators. That's cool, you can teleport. <sighs> We're so close to the save point. We got so much crap that can happen. Down the stairs. The door is right here, don't get attacked. Yes! Say or no need to rest, we just have to say. Whew. Alright. Progress. Friggin' saved, man. Good stuff, team. Alright, there is a little bit of dungeon we have to do here before we're done with this episode. Just to get where we need to be. Oh, crap. I have to go to this stupid part. There is another save point below, so, well, not below, but there's a door we have to go in. I think it's out of the workers' area, right? Where the hell is it? I forget where I have to go. Is that what's happening? Oh, okay, okay, okay. This turns off the laser grid. That's right. Ah, get, get, Ryu. Lock. Yes. Bang. Alright. <laughs> of course you guys would show up. Run! Yay! Back up here. We can go out through the lasers now. I don't think there's new enemies here. These are just the armors. Okay, we're successful in running. Quite successful in running. This is where new enemies appear. <laughs> I think the other way was a chest. I'm gonna go the other way. 
This is where the new armor is going to appear, too. The teach you. Yeah, there it is. Mist Man. The teach you, uh. Thunderstrike. I think I want the Revenant then, though. I think he's scarier. Yeah. Yeah, this guy, this guy can do thunder strike and paralyze. Yeah, be careful. We have to crack his armor before we can even hurt him. There we go. There's thunder strike. Ryu is paralyzed. Nice. He waited until we cracked the armor to freaking eat on. get paralyzed and that's a wipe of wipe because you can't recover from it. Almost forgot about that. One of these ways leads to a chest. They just have to make the end of the game mazy. The illusion of difficulty by making it mazy. That's really just annoyance. <laughs> Breath of Fire tends to do that. It tends to be all mazy towards the middle or end. <laughs> I hate this team. I hate it. I'm gonna shadow walk that and attack it. That turns you undead, by the way. Gloom. Which is pretty neat. I also had that in my Dark Dragon run. Dang, crit the bat. Flare. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the vampire, uh gets flustered if he doesn't have bats with him. I could be wrong about that. Yeah, yeah, if he doesn't have bats with him. So he tries to instant death us, and he tries to evil eye us. He has no bats. Nice, Gar. Again, he wrote the book on death, dude. Ain't afraid. This thing has so much HP. Can do it again. Gar again. Miss. Dang it. He does not care about death. This man defies the grave every day of his life. But we can't win. <laughs> Damn it. We're not getting Gar's turn, so we keep losing. Alright. Now we're good. Ray is doing no damage to this thing. Come on, Gar. Damn, dude. 
so much HP. <laughs> Probably got so little HP left that equipping the Demon's Bane doesn't even matter. Okay, I'll read. He's probably dead now. Yeah! You can't kill us, dude! I was trained by Gar. <laughs> Dang, I said there were no boss battles, but. Starting to question that now. Gar, just resist it. Don't die. Guts roll. Guts roll. Yes! You can't kill him! Now Ryu's gonna get a uh, Demon Bane swing. We'll see if. Oh, he's undead! Alright, dude, we're out of here. I'm done with you. Okay, we're not out of here. Fine. You just gonna wipe us? Is that what's gonna happen? My man. How many times is that? Six or so? Let me get away! Don't start paralyzing us. Dang it, dude. We're done for, aren't we? Now I get away. Okay. Dude, he could not death me. <laughs> Gar is like, nah, bro. <laughs> Does he have a talisman equipped? Is that why? No. He just said no. <laughs> he can't kill me, dude. <laughs> Ain't happening. Ah. Uh, those enemies are buttholes. Okay, yeah, this is... Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, so we can't do this yet. Alright. I could have sworn there was a save point before this. Down here. I'm wrong. Screw it. Let's extend the episode and hope that we can... <sighs> this is pretty spooky. This stuff actually sucks. Each one of these rooms has a boss in it. Well, some of them, anyway. Red light. Means bosses, yeah, okay. These are all rocky. Not sure if they're buffed here. I have no idea. I'm just gonna do a round of attacks and find out. No, they're not buffed. This is kind of uh, this is kind of like the game's way of like giving you EXP before the last boss. I'm pretty sure one of these doors goes into a uh, goes into a save room. I just don't know which room, which one. Because I could swear there was a save point right around here that I used because I want to fight all of these bosses. Dang, I guess since we're doing this part, the next episode is going to be the final episode, probably, then. I was going to save this boss rush mode to be its own episode, but I, and I could have sworn, excuse me, I could have sworn that there was a save point like immediately down here before you do these fights. But I think actually what I end up doing is going to the save point below all of this and coming back up to fight them. Oh my god. Not this. Not this. <laughs> Triple stallion, dude. Alright, let's roll a dragon. I ain't even screwing around here. How do I keep getting nine? <laughs> I mean, I'll take... I'll take True Geyser. It's a lot of AP, but I'll take it.
We have not rolled Myrmidon, I don't think, at all. Except for maybe one of the times where I was fighting Geist, but it didn't help. Yeah, I think the fact that that door opened at the beginning is kind of like the game's way of saying, hey, we need to go take care of it. Go take care of it now. That door that I opened with the switch at the beginning of the workers' area there. I think that's why it opens. Because it brings you straight to this spot. Because it's like, this is the last part of the final dungeon. You might want to go pick up some vitamins or something, since you've only got like 20 of them. But, no, we're, uh, we're stubborn and we didn't do that. I went through a lot of freaking vitamins in this place. I did 666 in the back one. Nice. Jeez. He's got no AP to friggin... Alright, let's wear a tiger screw it. Okay. Gar. Keep attacking. Do you have blizzard mail equipped? No, you have the other armor equipped now. Crap. I think Gar's dead. Yeah. And he did not guts roll. This room sucks. Ray's gonna be 26 HP War Tiger. He might outspeed them with War Tiger speed. Yeah, if we die, we'll just make make this whole part, next part, its own episode. Probably run out and get some vitamins and crap. We might we might actually wipe here. Because I just... Uh, failure to remember that there's no save point immediately down here. Kind of screwed us. Yeah, if I go and get items and stuff, uh, I'll do that off recording because it's going to take a minute. I don't know what I can do now. I think I'm toast. Benediction? Probably go after all of them. Ow. It's a perfect turn for them to double resist like that. Oh, Mr. A, that sucks. You know, even if I win this fight, I'll probably go out and get freaking items, because this is not going to go well against Miria without vitamins. choose which one to attack because they can just resist. Yeah, like that. So do no damage to that one. turn to heal. And now it attacks. Now they're all attacking. At least we reprised one. Oh, God. 
Like, I needed to see that attack again in my life. dangerous to a whole party if they do utmost attack, right? And they have to be within a certain HP range for that, I'm sure. So, we can probably double Ammonia Ray. Yeah, they resisted. Okay. We can probably bring the whole team back up, maybe. Oh, there goes Ray. Oh, I know what way not to go. stabilizer. Okay. And if we can win this fight, that's a lot of, uh, That's a lot of EXP if we can actually survive this. split up our attacks to make sure that we do damage to something, right? because we're going to run out of freaking tank and I double targeted. That means he's going to resist. Oh, up, oh, he's dead again. He died, guts rolled, and died. Because that's his life. This is a done deal, man. I'm 
not even gonna bother trying to stabilize anymore. I'm just gonna swing with Ryu till we're dead. <laughs> this is pretty pointless. Yeah, resist. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. Let's try and run. Yeah, okay. Alright, that's gonna be the end of this episode. Uh, I'm gonna save this boss rush for next time. Um, I probably will keep me running out to get items and stuff in the next episode. Just because these bosses, you know, although there's a lot of them, if we do the right path and we get to the save point, we can come back up and fight them at our leisure. So, um, yeah, we'll probably do this next episode. And uh, then after that, we'll be fighting Miria. We're only... Two episodes away. I think this is the best idea. I don't I don't want to end it on 19 episodes. We'll make it 20. I'm not trying to stretch it out. I just know that I want to fight these bosses because I think it's a cool part. And it's very much like a Mega Man game where they give you a boss rush at the end. But uh, for now, yeah, I am, I am dead. I'm not dead, but I may as well be, right? So we're, uh, we're pretty much done here. <laughs> We had an epic fight with the Douglas Lord. We beat uh, Arwen and Ryu's mind. Found a butt ton of rice balls. So yeah, I think we're I think we we're good this episode. It's a pretty good episode, actually. That fight with the with the with Tipo was freaking crazy, dude. I can't believe we made it out of that. Hurry up and kill me. <laughs> Ryu can't even hit himself. Let's go. There we go. Uh, one. You suck. Are they gonna double resist? You're not gonna let me die? There we go. Alright. Peace. See you guys next time.